If you've ever wondered if you're using the best email marketing platform for your autoresponder needs in your business, this week's training is just for you. I'm gonna cut through the fat and show you the most straightforward approach and how to choose the best autoresponder for your business. I'm Chris L. Davis of AutomationBridge.com and let's go. So I'll just be honest with you. There's a lot of options when it comes to autoresponders, but for the sake of this video training, I've decided to cut it down to the most powerful, most widely used tools that are available on the market today and that are being used by most marketers. You see, my approach to determining which autoresponder is the best is going to be a, a bit different and a bit more focused on the entrepreneur or small business owner that is looking to use the Internet to scale their business and increase their sales. So with that in mind, there's two areas that I like to address. First is the criteria in which I'll be ranking these autoresponders and I'll be looking at them based on integration, segmentation, and automation. Okay, integration in terms of third party solutions, WordPress plugins, or other software out there to help you create a fully automated system. Segmentation is just like last week I told you, sending those highly targeted emails to people who you know want the information that you're sending out to increase your open rates, to increase your click through rates, and eventually increase your sales. And the lastly is automation triggered events that your subscriber takes that in response trigger actions on the back end of your autoresponder so all of these three things are critical when you when looking for an autoresponder if none of these apply to your business then you can simply stop watching the video right now <laughs> but if these are three things that you're looking to implement because you know this is how entrepreneurs are scaling their business to multi-millions then let's keep going on here and in addition to that criteria, there's three factors that I like to look at when I'm trying to decide which autoresponder platform is is the best for that speci for a specific business purpose. And the three factors I like to look at is credibility, deliverability and user interface. Credibility is the rapport with the email service provider ESPs. This means that you have you, your service provider has a relationship built with Hotmail. Google, uh, Yahoo, etc., that pretty much is saying that, hey, look, I none of my none of the people on my platform are going to spam. So you can trust that the emails coming from here, they have permission and we're, we're, we're top quality. OK, we're, we're very ethical. Next is the deliverability, which is directly affected by the credibility. And that's the ability to get in the inbox. I mean, that's the whole purpose of email marketing is to show up in the inbox. And lastly, I like to look at the user interface because believe it or not, this plays a big role in your choice because if the interface is very clunky it's gonna just be another hurdle or stumbling block block when it comes to you getting out your content for your marketing so I have a list of the top email marketing service providers that meet the criteria as well as the three factors that I'm looking into and those are MailChimp, Aweber, GetResponse, SendPepper, Entreport, and Infusionsoft and what I've done is I've split them up in terms of beginner intermediate and advanced so let's start with MailChimp. MailChimp ranks between beginner and intermediate because it has a very strong integration. Some of the best integration I've seen out here with third party tools and it has a very nice interface. And for most people, they actually sign up with MailChimp because they're free. They don't really look at any of the advanced functionality that they may need going down the line as their business grows and what MailChimp what I found MailChimp is missing is true segmentation across multiple lists um, it's fine if you have one list in MailChimp they allow you to segment that one list however if you have multiple lists and you want to send an email across multiple lists it is not easy nor straightforward in MailChimp as well as automation MailChimp does not have any form of automation built into their platform meaning I cannot move subscribers or remove subscribers between lists based on their action on another list, which is really actually surprising because that's kind of like an industry standard right now. OK, and the next is a Weber. What I like about a Weber is that they're highly reputable. A Weber has been in the game for a long time. They're known as kind of the workforce, the workhorse 
of the industry. They're highly integrated with a lot of third party solutions and they do have automation. So if you have two lists and you set it up to where if a subscriber jumps on uh, list A, they will automatically be unsubscribed from list B. OK, so a Weber does have that kind of functionality. What I found is that when you move past the intermediate needs more towards the advanced, uh, a Weber lacks in segmentation, meaning it's very hard to send targeted emails across uh, multiple lists based on previous action. And uh, I, I guess to really illustrate it is that a Weber allows you to create these segments. However, you cannot save them once and have them dynamically updated as people come into your funnel. So it causes you to create the segment every time you want to send an email to that list, which some people may not mind. But again, it's just another hurdle, just another <laughs> stepping stone that you have to get over between you and getting your content to your subscribers. And then the next is get response. Get response is what I personally recommend and use. I found it to be the most powerful and most user friendly platform out there for intermediate to advanced marketers uh, works for beginners as well. But they've got solid integration. If you are familiar with the platform name uh, Zapier, uh, they have automation, top notch automation, segmentation across lists, dynamic. You can set up your criteria when you first build your list and as your list grows. Uh, get response will automatically put them into the segment that you predetermine. They have surveys built in without the need of any third party integration, landing pages built in and action based messages. They call it action based autoresponder, meaning the actions that your subscribers take can trigger a one time message being sent. Um, that's just amazing. It's a very powerful platform that platform. That's why I use them and recommend them. And uh, if there was anything missing, it would be the advanced automation, meaning uh, I can't unsubscribe somebody from a list once they've reached the end of an autoresponder sequence. Again, these are advanced strategies, and that's why you see it over towards the advanced line. But things like that would be very nice to be able to do or move subscribers between lists based on a click of a link in the email. OK, so that's what I mean when I'm talking about advanced automation within get response. But for the same price point of Aweber and MailChimp, you get a lot more bang for your buck with get response. Then the next is SendPepper. A lot of people don't even know what SendPepper is or that it exists. It's a little past intermediate because they do have pretty good segmentation. But the biggest piece is that they, they're upgradable to Entreport, which was used to be known as office autopilot. So what this means is that you can build a list in send pepper for a fraction of the cost. You know, I think their first tier uh, price is at like 30 or 40 bucks a month. And then when you're ready to upgrade to Entreport, a full C CRM plus email marketing platform, it's literally a click of a button, but you maintain all of the data that you had in SendPepper. It's just imported right into Entreport. So that's huge. And they have automation built in. It's not as as thorough um, as Entreport because it doesn't have any of the triggers uh, for tagging or the action responses, which is why I left them out. Uh, but they do get to borrow the integration from Entreport uh, so that any tool that Entreport integrates with SendPepper will integrate with as well. I always recommend SendPepper to clients who are thinking that in the future they're going to upgrade to Entreport because it lets them get in with the platform at a fairly inexpensive price point, maintain all of the data for all from all of their subscribers and be able to easily upgrade to Entreport. Speaking of Entreport, Entreport is a, a lot of people don't know what Entreport is. Um, I have clients that use Entreport. I manage Entreport for some of my clients and I absolutely love the platform. What Entreport is, it, it provides you CRM, which is contact relationship management system with your email marketing. And it's what is called an uh, all-in-one solution. And this is very advanced stuff. Uh, it's got the integration, the automation, segmentation, landing page. Uh, what I like is that it has checkout pages as well. Okay, so now you can market to people based on the 
the purchases of your products that they have made as well as build these checkout pages in the same platform in which you're using your email marketing they've got a tagging system where you can tag the actions that people have taken your prospects your subscribers whatever you want to call them have taken in your list to help you lead rank or find who are the hottest leads as well as action responses so based on the tags that you give them you can then send messages or perform actions based on that tagging system very high level advanced stuff you don't need this unless you're serious about your business platforms like this will increase your your return on investment your your revenues i should say by at least 300 percent there's case studies out there that have proven this and i've seen it personally myself in the accounts that i manage for my clients and infusionsoft is the same type of deal um, as entreport an all-in-one crm plus email marketing solution uh, the main difference between uh, infusionsoft is that they don't have the landing page functionality in there however they've got a campaign builder which there's mixed results about it out right now a lot of legacy users think it's useless and a lot of new users think it's priceless so uh, those are all of the platforms that are available to you in the ranking so depending on where you're at in your email marketing will dictate which tool is the best for you if you want my recommendation to keep it basic I would start out with get response because it allows you to be able to use it at, at on a beginner level if you want to but it won't hinder you if your business tends to grow and your list explodes um, at some point uh, get response is going to lack the full integration that you need to really scale your business and that's when my next recommendation for advanced users only would be entreport okay so those are my two recommendations is get response and entreport uh, if you're a beginner intermittent or advanced user and what I've seen is a lot of people have kind of shied away from from choosing some of these options solely based on price which is crazy to me because as business owners we're cognizant of price but we should be more cognizant of the value that we can get in return by a solid marketing tool that can increase our revenue um, so I never pick a autoresponder based on the price which I've seen a lot of people choose MailChimp just basic based on the price model which I, ju I just disagree with that's just my personal opinion so there you have it that's how I recommend choosing an autoresponder that's best for your business um, take it or leave it this is what I found works with my experience from personal <laughs> experience this is not theoretical so um, I would love to hear if, if you have any comments if you agree or disagree uh, drop a comment in the box below the video if you're on YouTube or if you're on my blog uh, do the same in the comment area but for right now what I would like you to do is first subscribe to my YouTube page step one subscribe to my YouTube page just click the red box right there on the screen and once you've done that I want you to claim your free copy of my automation manual it lays down the foundation of where you should be the, the first three areas you should be looking to automate your business if you want to remove yourself from processes in your business and continue to make money and continue to make more money without sacrificing your time this automation manual is an absolute necessity step three I just want you to enjoy this content that I'm putting out Okay, this is free, not no charge at all, but there are valuable nuggets in here that will really save you from going down a lot of research or a trial and error in your business. And if I can help you in that way, if I can serve you in that manner, I'm satisfied. Uh, so thank you again for attending this week's newsletter training. I hope that this is all starting to make sense for you in your business and the wheels are starting to turn and I will see you next week.